Okay, here's my burners. Um, I didn't record much of it. It uh, one is made out of solid brass, out of brass bar stock. The other one is bimetal. I mean, it's a uh, piece of pipe, water pipe here. And what I did was in the inside. There's cotton and that kind of makes it so you can't spill it so you don't you know you don't spill your alcohol when you put it in I put a little bit of alcohol in it and it's cotton rope and that's tucked down into the cotton got to sometimes got to twist it a little bit to get it to sit down on there I got my got the camera in my hand here Come on. Once it gets a little nesting spot in there, it'll be all right. Uh, they're both the same. They got cotton in the inside. I put alcohol in them. You don't need a very big flame. <laughs> and let's light them up. Okay, I think they're both going. This one's a little bit bigger than that one. A little taller, too, I see. I notice now. And we'll put this one. We'll take and put this one underneath here. The one on my surface plate. And let it warm up. And take this little one. Stick it over here. It doesn't This thing doesn't need a <laughs> very big flame. And... Uh, with that cotton in there, it'll, I'm sure it'll run for a long time without having to refuel. Just like a Zippo lighter. And let's we'll see how long this takes to, to heat up here. Not yet. Not quite. And this one here is a lot smaller one. Let's see. It's just about though. Mm, back and forth here. It's just about. Just about warm enough already. Now naturally uh, it it would warm up and go right away if I had a bigger flame under there, but this little tiny flame that I have underneath. Oh, it's so close. How about this one? Come on. I got a rubber band on there and it just slips. I think that one's I think that one's going. Of course that I think that flame was just a little bit bigger. One of them was a little bit bigger than the other. Oh, it was this one that was a little bit bigger. This one should be going already. I think it's going. I'm gonna run them and uh, with that cotton in there just to see how long. And they'll run. So, what time is it? It's 4.09 now. Mm, I can't reach over and get the clock. But, you can see it's 4.09 back there. We'll see how long they run before the flame goes out. I'm guessing, <clears throat> I'm guessing 15 minutes it's going to run. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to cut away here and then I'll come back when it's when they decide to stop. Well, maybe I'll go away here. It's on the focus and it doesn't want to... Come on. Huh. Uh, 
Yeah, my camera has started and I can't stop it. <laughs> ah, that's weird. It uh, brings up the focus instead of... Uh, instead of stopping the camera. So, the only way I can stop it is to go flip it. Okay, been five minutes. Still going strong. Still about the same size flame. I'm just sitting here watching them. Uh, I'll come back in another five minutes. Okay, it's been ten minutes. This one here looks sounds like a slowing down. That one there is still going strong. This one here, the the tank is actually a little bit bigger, but the flame was big a little bit a little bit bigger than the other one also. But it's still running. So that's been ten, it's been ten minutes. I was going to make them out of. Uh, shotgun shell and uh, wire mesh and everything I made one it got so hot that I decided not to do that it just the, the tank and everything just got way too warm this way the tank just it gets warm but it doesn't I, I can handle it it's on slowing down now too I think they're gonna run out about uh, 11 or 12 minutes But I only, I didn't, I mean, I got the cotton wet in the inside, but I didn't, re, I could have put more in. Can't make it run longer, but I wanted to see just with the cotton saturated, and that was it. Let's see how long they run. Well, it's been 11 minutes now. What did I say? 15 minutes. A little ways to go yet to get there. Uh, they're made out of, they're, they're not really anything fancy either. The tank is turned up. It's got a lip on it that the uh, top slides over. And then it's got some brass tubing uh, soldered in. And then this one here has a plate, a brass plate soldered in on the top and the bottom. And like I say, the outside of it is uh, a water pipe. It's just water pipe that I bored out, turned, and this one here is made out of uh, solid bar stock brass. And uh, the tube, though, is it's got a tube soldered in it, brass tube soldered in it also. And I'm using cotton rope for wick right now, which seems to work fine. I've used that before. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Uh oh, I think this one's coming to a halt. Get that flame to run about that size. It's running at a nice speed right there. Oh, it's picking up now. We found some more alcohol. <laughs> 13 minutes. Well, I will come back when, when they stop when one of them stops. This one was slowing down, but still seems to be chugging along. That one's still no change. And it's been 17 minutes. So this, I think it's going to make it a half hour at this the one.
Oh, the, the flame is starting to change different colors here. I think it's running out of alcohol. I'm trying to light off. Can you really see it? No. Can't really see it. So if I want them to run longer, I can take and make the tank bigger on the bottom. I think it's going to stop here. Where's my tripod? I'm looking for the tripod. Oh, it's sitting right back there. Just when I think it's going to quit, it's just... <laughs> I want to see how dry it pulls pulls that cotton. It pulls. It should pull a lot, most of the alcohol out of that cotton that wick. Nineteen minutes. Been a pretty good day outside, other than it's really breezy. My head has been feeling pretty good. Knock on, knock on wood, last few days. Yeah, it seems like the one over here on my workbench is no change. It just running at the exact same speed. Like I say, that flame right there, that size, makes the blades run, you know, pretty slow, which is kind of what I'd like. That engine, the motor on this, actually, I might have to build a bigger, well, I might, I'm going to build a twin cylinder, I think. With a couple bigger flywheels. Maybe that'll be my next project. Since I got all these glass tubes. <laughs> you got plenty of glass tube. I should make some low differential, low temperature differential engines. I've got one that runs. I've got one that it's just about runs, but not quite. <laughs> I should spend a little time. Maybe I could use that one. I don't know. I think I've got a brass cylinder on it. The one that doesn't want to. This is running on a brass cylinder, though. Brass cylinder with no, no liner or anything in it. Graphite piston. It's been, now it's been, uh, 20, what is it? Yeah, 21 minutes. Twenty two minutes. But I put that cotton in there, you know, since it's such a shallow, it ain't very tall, but it, and it's big around, you could you can spill it pretty easy with that cotton in there and you just moisten the cotton you're not going to spill it which I kind of like I like I like it that way
Not 23 minutes so far. I better cut away again. <laughs> this video is going to be long. I thought it was going to stop. That's why I started videoing again. Oh, the one on the workbench. Grip. The one that I kept thinking it was going to stop. Still going. So, make sure your flame is out. Bring this out. Yeah, she's dry. Dry as a bone. And this thing has actually picked up speed. But this one ran uh, 25 minutes. So pretty, this one's going to make a half hour or what? Oh, I think she's... I don't know. I, I thought she was slowing down again. The cotton, it does, like I say, it doesn't use, it doesn't use much alcohol. <laughs> Running these small, small flames like this. Well, I guess I'm going to cut away again. I think it's going to die. It's two minutes short of a half an hour. 28 minutes. And this one should all be used up also. Yeah, it's dry, dry as a bone. So, so they run a sufficient amount of time. This one here, the cover fits on a little tighter than this one. And this, plus the tank is bigger on this one than it is on this one here. I could go in and cut it out, but eh, 20 some, 20 some minutes is plenty long enough. But I wish the cover, I wish I wouldn't have, I was going to put a O-ring in it, so I made it smaller and kind of wish I wouldn't have now. Well, I might go and hunt up an O-ring for that anyway. So, anyway. Uh, next is, um, I'm going to uh, make a little bent hook for the skids here to bolt it down to whatever I'm going to bolt it to. Uh, um, whether it be uh, Corian uh, cutting board or a, a piece of maple board or whatever I find that I think will work. And uh, I'm going to try to design a little, like I say, a little bent hook kind of like that that I can put a screw in the back side to pull it down, pull it down tight. So it'll be a hook and a hook. Or, yeah, probably just two on the inside or outsides. I can do a hook right there and a hook on the back side. So, yeah, I think that's what I'll do right there. Two of them. Two of them on each side. So I get to do some really small sheet metal work. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's it for now. Catch you guys later.